Welcome to campus, Hornets. The Compliance Office within the Student Athlete Resource Center, or better known as the SARC, is here to help you play by the rules. Our team consists of Faculty Athletic Representative Steve Perez, Director of Compliance Catherine Zadonis, Assistant Director of Compliance Jean Estevez, Compliance Coordinator Megan Riggs, and Compliance Intern Dallas Smith. As a student athlete at Sacramento State, it is important that you know and understand various rules and guidelines that have been defined by the NCAA, Big Sky Conference, and the university to ensure your eligibility for participation in intercollegiate competition. The information provided in this video will give you an overview of these rules and guidelines that all student athletes, coaches, athletics department staff, boosters, and fans need to know and to abide by. This video is not a comprehensive source of information, and as such, we invite you to stop by the Compliance Office or contact any of the Compliance staff members to seek clarification on a question or issue you may have regarding eligibility, recruiting, extra benefits, and employment, outside competition, financial aid, drug testing, promotional activities, or booster relationships. We wish you much success this year, both in the classroom and in your sport of competition. Go Hornets! Remember that the student comes before the athlete, so take note of these few simple rules to stay academically eligible. Always be enrolled in 12 credits. Pass a minimum of six credits every semester. For football student athletes, nine credits in the fall. Pass at least 18 credits combined during every fall and spring. By the beginning of your sophomore year, complete at least 24 credits with a minimum of a 1.8 GPA. Declare a major by the beginning of your junior year. By the beginning of your junior year, complete 40% of your degree with a minimum of a 1.9 GPA. By the beginning of your senior year, complete 60% of your degree with a minimum of a 2.0 GPA. By the beginning of your fifth year, complete 80% of your degree with a minimum of a 2.0 GPA. Please check with your Athletic Academic Advisor in the SARC if you have questions related to the NCAA rules regarding eligibility. College is expensive, but as a student athlete, there are resources available to you. Here are some helpful NCAA permitted sources of financial aid. Money from anyone whom you're naturally or legally dependent on. Remember that it's never okay for you to receive money from a coach, fan, or a booster. Money from the financial aid office, for example, the Pell Grant, State University Grant, Cal Grant, and student loans. Money from the NCAA Student Assistance Fund. See Mark McGushin in the SARC and the Student Athlete Handbook and Planner for details. Money from outside community scholarships. These must be approved by the Compliance Office to ensure that they meet NCAA regulations. Additionally, if you are a scholarship student athlete, you need to be aware of that. Every year, by July 1st, you'll be notified if your scholarship is going to be renewed, reduced, or canceled. Sacramento State student athletes excel both on and off the playing field, and that is due to your great time management skills. To make sure you are able to balance your time efficiently, take a look at the NCAA rules regarding countable athletic related activities, or CARA. Activities that count towards CARA include, but are not limited to, practice, weights, games, or meets, and required film review. In season. When you are in season, the following rules apply. No more than 20 hours of Kara a week and no Kara between the hours of midnight and 5 a.m. No more than four hours per day. You must have one day off per week. Out of season. When you are out of your season, the following rules apply. No more than eight hours of Kara a week. Of your eight hours, a maximum of two hours can be individual skill instruction. You must have two days off per week. Remember, the following also applies to Kara. Required weight room workouts count towards your hours. 
No matter how long a competition is, it counts as three hours. Time spent in the training room, preparing a field or study table does not count towards your hours. When classes are not in session, the daily and weekly hour limitations to CARA do not apply if your sport is in season. Voluntary activities do not count towards your hours, and unless your sport has a safety exception, a coach may not be present. If you have any questions or concerns at any time, please be encouraged to contact the Compliance Office, FAR, or your SAC team representative. As a student athlete, you are seen as a representative of the university. That tower comes with a lot of responsibility. The athletic department expects you to act in such a way that promotes a positive image of the university. If you need clarification on what actions could be considered a code of conduct violation, please contact your coach or sports supervisor. The following guidelines will help you be the best Hornet you can be. You must always do your own homework, assignments, projects, and tests. Remember to properly cite your sources in papers and speeches. You should not share your work with other student athletes or students. Tutors are available for coursework assistance, but they cannot complete your work. You should never engage in cheating, plagiarism, forgery, or other forms of academic dishonesty that are intended to gain unfair academic advantage. Prohibited conduct includes, but not limited to, unexcused class absences, failure to meet team obligations, use, possession, distribution of illegal drugs or drug-related paraphernalia, alcoholic beverages, except as permitted by law or university regulation, hazing, social media websites, you are prohibited from posting or tweeting anything on the internet that puts you, your team, the athletic department, or university in negative light. Every student athlete receives a copy of the athletic department code of conduct within the student athlete handbook and planner. As a Sac State Hornet, we know you are popular. However, you are not allowed to participate with another team during the academic year. Playing a weekend tournament with a previous club team could be an NCAA violation. There are always exceptions, so go directly to Compliance Office for further clarification before participating. General exceptions to the outside competition rule are During vacation periods when your team is not in season, you are permitted to compete in one high school alumni game per year. In sports other than basketball, this game must take place during an official vacation period. Participation on the U.S. national team or state games. If you have questions about outside competition, remember to go to the Compliance Office. Everyone loves free stuff. As a benefit for participating in your sport, each student athlete is eligible to receive four free tickets for the sport that you compete in. These free tickets are known as complimentary admissions. The following rules will help you know how to use these tickets. For teams with ticketing, you'll be required to submit your four guest names online prior to each event. Individuals using your complimentary admissions must present a photo ID at the ticket gate. You are not permitted to accept money, gifts, or other benefits in exchange for your complimentary admissions. You may not designate other individuals like a friend, parent, or guardian to receive money, gifts, or benefits on your behalf for your complimentary admissions. Also, don't forget we can support all of our fellow student athletes throughout the year as well because with our campus ID, we all get into sporting events free. If for some reason you would ever want to leave Sac State, pay attention to the following rules about transferring. NCAA restrictions apply depending on your sport. You need permission to speak with other four-year colleges from the Compliance Office before you can start to be recruited again. Even more restrictions apply if you want to transfer to another Big Sky school or other conferences Sacramento State teams represent. Always go to the Compliance Office for more information. If you decide to take your talents into the workplace during the academic year or the summer, remember these key points to ensure you do not risk your eligibility. You can only be paid for the work that you actually perform. You may only get paid at the going rate of pay for the area. Your employer may not use your reputation as a Sac State student athlete to benefit their business. 
As a student athlete, you may own a business. However, you may not use your name or likeness to sell the product. Please use a pseudonym to protect your eligibility. For example, starting a business selling a product like makeup, vitamins, or kitchenware. You cannot start modeling once you have become a student athlete. If you were modeling before becoming a Sacramento State student athlete, then it is permissible. Sometimes this employment includes providing private lessons, which are also known as fee for lessons by the NCAA. You will need to remember the following rules and also notify the compliance office before you give any lessons. Sacramento State facilities cannot be used. You cannot simply play against the lesson recipient. You have to actually teach a skill or provide instruction. You must have prior approval from the compliance office. Your compensation must be paid by the lesson recipient or the recipient's family and not by another individual or entity. As Hornets, we like to give back and stay active in our community. Volunteering and community outreach can be done for the athletic department, the university, or the community. But if anyone outside of the athletic department asks you to be involved in a promotional activity, please contact the compliance office for approval. General rules for promotional activities are permissible only for an institutional, charitable, educational, or nonprofit promotion. You must have prior approval from Sacramento State Athletics. You cannot miss class. You cannot get paid. Your name, picture, or appearance must be used in a manner that is consistent with NCAA rules. Throughout your athletic career here at Sac State, you can be subject to unannounced and random drug testing at any time. This drug testing can happen from two different organizations, the NCAA and the Sacramento State Athletic Department. Sacramento State Athletic Drug Testing. If a student athlete tests positive for any banned substance or for a known masking agent, the minimum penalties for a first offense shall be as follows for Sacramento State Athletics. Mandatory meeting with the head coach and director of athletics, mandatory drug education, community service, and further unannounced drug testing during your collegiate career. NCAA drug testing can happen year-round, including summer. NCAA drug testing. A positive test for a banned drug other than a street drug will make you ineligible for 365 calendar days and you will lose one year of eligibility. A student athlete who tests positive for a street drug will be withheld for 50% of the season in all sports, regular season contests, or dates of competition. For all drug tests, remember these points. If you don't show up for a test, it will be counted as positive. If you are tested by a national or international athletics organization and test positive, you are required to notify the athletic director and the compliance office. Even before we became Division I student athletes, there were rules to follow. If any of the following issues happen to you during your recruitment while a prospective student athlete by Sacramento State, you need to visit the compliance office. Anybody provided you or your family with impermissible financial aid or benefits. This could be in the form of money, services, or other tangible items. Anybody other than an actual Sacramento State coach recruited you to become a Hornet. For example, a booster or a fan brought you to campus to recruit you to be a Hornet. You received more than five official visits during your high school senior year or after October 15th following your high school graduation. At some point, your coach might ask you to be a student athlete host for an official visit. It's your responsibility to follow both NCAA and Sacramento State athletic procedures when hosting prospective student athletes, or better known as PSAs. A student athlete host may not provide alcohol, drugs, or adult entertainment of any kind to PSA. Take recruits to any drinking or gambling establishments. This includes any house parties. Use a vehicle provided by a coach or booster. Take the PSA or their family more than 30 miles from Sacramento State campus. Allow conversations to occur between a PSA and a booster. The entertainment funds provided to you by the coach must entertain you as the host, the PSA, and the PSA's parents. The NCAA allows you to receive $40 per day to entertain a PSA, their parents, and yourself. If you host additional PSAs, it's up to $20 per day per PSA.
Sacramento State is proud of all of our Hornets and the pros. If you want to follow in their footsteps, you need to know the following NCAA rules when dealing with agents and amateurism status. Hornet student athletes, you will lose your eligibility if you or your parents' guardians accept benefits from an agent or an agent's runner. You may not sign a contract with an agent or agree verbally to be represented by an agent in the future after your eligibility has expired. Any questions regarding agents should be directed to the compliance office. No agents until no eligibility. Before you can think about the pros, remember that student athletes must keep their amateurism status during their time at Sac State. You cannot use your athletic skill for pay in any form. You cannot agree to a promise of pay at a later date. You cannot endorse a commercial product. If you receive impermissible prize money or awards, you may not assign it to another individual or agency. Sure, gambling seems fun, but it's not as much fun as being a Division I student athlete. Don't risk this fun by gambling on professional or collegiate athletics. Remember these points, and remember Hornets, don't bet on it. As a Hornet student athlete, you cannot provide information to individuals placing bets that may or may not influence the outcome of a game. For example, providing information on any team injuries. You cannot solicit a bet on any amateur, intercollegiate team, or professional team. You cannot accept a bet on any team. Remember, entry fee plus prize equals violation. You cannot participate in any gambling activity that involves intercollegiate athletics. Sports wagering reminders. If there is a violation involving gambling with Sacramento State, you lose all remaining eligibility in all sports. Gambling violations with any other team aside from Sacramento State will result in losing a minimum of one year of eligibility. Any student athlete who engages in activity designed to influence the outcome of an intercollegiate contest, an example, point shaving, will lose all remaining eligibility. NCAA rules prohibit student athletes from receiving any extra benefits. These rules also regulate your interactions with donors or boosters to the athletic department. Remember these definitions and rules in order to stay eligible and to properly interact with boosters. A booster is anyone who makes donations to athletic department, provides benefits to prospective student athletes, PSA, or current student athletes, generally promotes Sacramento State athletics, there are limitations to the interaction that you can have with boosters. You cannot receive any extra benefits from a booster. Some examples include use of a car, gifts, cash, loans, free services, and free tickets for any kind of entertainment. Free or reduced merchandise from a store or restaurant, unless it is available to the general public. Free or reduced room and or board or utilities from a booster. This includes in Sacramento, your home city, or any other location. Members of the athletic department staff, including tutors, may not type or write papers or take your exams for you. A permissible extra benefit is an occasional meal. Athletic department staff, including coaches, may take you to a restaurant or their home. A booster may have you to their home for a meal or host a meal on the Sac State campus. They may also provide transportation from your residence to his or her home and back to your residence. If you have any questions about Sacramento State, Big Sky, or NCAA rules, swing by the Compliance Office for further assistance. Dang. All right. Is this all I need to do? Is yeah. just read this? Yep. I definitely want it to be good. I don't want my part to be crappy. <laughs> <laughs> Their family, more than 30 miles from, ah. Notify the compliance office before you get any. Remember that the student athlete. Violation. 
please contact your sports or coach supervisor. Sports. <laughs> coach or sports supervisor. <laughs> I'm good. <sighs> Time efficiency. <laughs> Marlene before coming. Responsibility to follow both. Ah. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> please contact your coach or sp sports supervisor. <laughs> oh, the last two words. Are you kidding me? Of your eight hours, a minimum. <laughs> oh, shoot. It's a stressful job, I feel like. That side. Okay, I don't run this. Do I have cards? No, you don't have the whole cards. Oh, oh, I'm just, oh, I'm just pointing. I thought I was speaking. Oh. So I'm like pointing at the words. And have fun with it? Yeah. Oh, do I have to point that way? Yeah, you want exactly like that. Is this what it's like? That's kind of awkward. Yeah. Right. This is so awkward. Do I smile or? Big smile. There we go. Look back here. <laughs> Your sport of competition. Go Hornets. Well, uh, we need a little more. Go. Oh, gosh. Go Hornets. <laughs>